What's going on YouTube? I'm here with Trade UI, showing you how you can use our option flow filtering system as well as our other features to help make yourself a better trader. The tutorial I want to go over today is actually these two windows we see right here, which is flow setups and unusual flow. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and look at flow setup. So if you go to the question mark right here, and it'll kind of give you some information about what flow setup is. And it'll say this card contains a list of the latest flow with technical setups. For a ticker, for a ticker to make it to this list, the algo must find one of these technical setups, either a stock breakout, a consolidation, a vitality squeeze, reversal pattern. On please note that the time frame is daily. On weekends, this feature displays last Friday's flow setup. All right, so what it does, it shows you what's consolidating, what's breaking out, how long it's been consolidating, if it's, and if it's setting up for a potential squeeze. So what happens is it will get stocks that are in these kind of setups, but it will also find stocks that have option flow. That way you can see where people are betting what the continuation is going to happen, whether it's a break to the upside, a break to the downside, or if it's going to stay in consolidation for a little while. So I haven't even gone through any of these yet for the day, so let's just kind of see what's going on. So we'll look at DNA. All right, so right now it says DNA is on a weekly squeeze, so let's see what we got going on here. We got to pull up the option flow. All right, we got one contract. It was a midpoint fill. Uh, there's and they have a long DTE, 513 days. This is a leap for the $15 strike price. So somebody has a really really big bet on this one right here. As you can see, it is a 430% expected move. But what we'll do is we'll look at the chart. So let's go to the chart. DNA. All right. All right, let's look at the long-term chart. All right, so I see where it's talking about where it's in consolidation between these two levels right here. It looks like the 250 level to up all the way up to right the $4 level. So it's been a consistent pattern through here. So it looks like it's actually at the bottom of this consolidation level. So this is actually a potential bull trade you could take just off the technical analysis part here. You can see that it's still consolidating in this channel. It's actually a kind of a tight channel right here that I broke out of. But you could actually swing this if you wanted to to the 330 side or potentially another test for the $4 level. So that's a good that's a good way you could look at this. You can see the flow is bullish for the long term. However, the flow for this is a little too long for me to go ahead and take a trade on this. So let's see what else we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my filters. I'm going to make this big screen for us so it's easier to look at. But let's see what else we have. So we have weekly squeezes. We also had Fang, which was near its breakout price of $140.70. So let's see what's going on here with Fang. All right, let's see. I'm going to pull up Fang. All right, so it looks like we had a lot of buying on the... Let's see, we have some midpoints on the call side. So these are potential bullish signs we have going on here. It looks like these are both out the money for 10 and 13%. We have a lot of at the money calls and outside the money calls. So people are very bullish on FANG right now overall as we're seeing this flow here. So let's pull it up on the chart and see what we're looking at. So FANG. All right, Diamondback Energy. All right, so its breakout point is that 140 level, as you can see right here. So it's getting pretty close to testing that level again. That looks like people are betting that it's going to break past that level. So this is what you do. You end up putting this on your watch list to see if it does break through or tries to break through. And if it does, then you can piggyback off that trade and probably target 150 to 160. Or it could fail right here and it could pull back down and continue in this area right here. It depends on your trading strategy and how you like to do it. If it does pop through, you could actually use that 140 level as a new support line for yourself to find a new entry for the future. So just because something is breaking up or breaking down and from what you see on the flow setup. Don't necessarily just follow the flow setup itself. Also read the option sweeps to see what direction people are betting on. And then you also have to make sure you're following your own strategy to make sure that you're implementing what you use to make your money itself. This is supposed to be a watch list for you. So all of these squeezes, these are potential watches that you have to find because you can see these and then you can read the flow to see if a potential breakout's coming. And when that breakout does come, you're ready for it and you're ready to uh, you're ready to take advantage of it. So for example, DDOG, there's a lot to the overall those looks like there's a lot of sellers versus buyers. We have a negative 581,000 and it's squeezing, so that could be a potential breakdown we need to be looking at. 
Uh, let's see, CVET, I see it right here. And clear out my filters. There we go. CVET. All right, so we have one call for CV, CVET, and this is actually a bid, so I don't know if that's somebody buying it, potentially somebody closing out a position. So it could still be consolidating for a little while that we need that we need to uh, keep on our watch. But we also have the unusual flow chart, which is what I really love to look at when I'm finding good trades. I'll, I'll always scan through here every now and then to see What's team, what tickers stand out to me that look unique? Like, for example, CTIC. I'm not very familiar with that ticker, so let's see what's going on here. All right, so we had five calls and two puts today. We had some midpoints, 58 days of expiration. Two of these were for half a million dollars. So this is a potential very good bull sign. These are This one's out the money. This one's uh, a little bit below the money. But these are still both very, very bullish indicators for me now that I'm seeing this. It looks like we had some more flow for 166,000 uh, come in today, and another for 29,000. So let's look at the chart for CTIC to see what's going on here. All right, Biopharma. Okay, so it looks like it found this 545 level consolidated, then broke out of that pattern the past two days, as you can see right here. So this could be a continuation to test that seven dollar level, which is exactly what that strike was for as well as the 750 level but let's look at the smaller time frame not well, smaller time frame sorry all right so we got up we had a great move here today this moved 40 cents for a six dollar stock which is pretty good but it broke out and continued looks like it's pulling back again it looks like now our new support level is a 620 level so that's a potential entry you could have to keep following this the option flow that happened with ctic and what it's whatever you want to use for your personal technical analysis to determine where you think the stock's going to go. Personally, past seven, maybe seven fifty, maybe seven eighty, maybe maybe eight dollars or new highs. That's what the flow is reading like it could go. We just have to keep an eye on this as the trade continues. If you want to actually play this trade, you could enter around this six twenty level if it pulls back after that big pop it had today. But you can use option flow, unusual option flow, to really find out where volume is starting to come into certain stocks because some of these positions, they don't really get much attention as like Apple or Tesla or the S&P 500. These are going to be a lot of stocks that don't always get talked about in the media. Now, you will see something happen where some you'll have unusual flow for something, it may be short term, and all of a sudden a news headline comes out the next day that so-and-so released a new drug or so-and-so released a new, new product or somebody's cutting down on 3,000 employees or whatever it may be. So understand that the the reason this flow is unusual is because no nope, to be uh, the has to have an open interest smaller than fifty contracts and a trade size of over one thousand contracts. So when you put that together, you have someone acting very aggressive on certain stocks because they may know something that not everybody's seeing right now, and then that news will come out when it's too late for you to jump on it. So let's look at GPS, for example. I see two back-to-back, -back, so that could have been the same order, just broken up. So that's always a really bullish sign. We see a lot of unusual flow. All right, so we're two and two. We got two put bids and two calls that were asked. This is very bullish because when people are closing out puts and starting to buy out-the-money calls, they expect a big move to happen. Most of these are 23 days of expiration, a $10.50 strike price. So let's look at GPS here. Gap, okay. All right, so right now, as, as we can see on the four-hour mark, it looks like it's holding on to this this support level right in here, this nine, nine this we we'll say $10 support line right in here. Uh, it could go down to 947 but it looks like it's holding on very strongly right now to this level. So it looks like it's starting to reverse a little bit, really holding this 9, 9.7 level right here. So you could see a breakout to the upside, and you could honestly see this thing go back up to either $11 a share or all the way up to $12 a share before finding resistance again. So this is something you can have in your watch list for the next few days just by seeing the unusual flow of first, people were, let me make this big, people were closing out puts and buying calls. So I'm curious to read the flow on this stock the next few days to see why people are actually starting to address this trade because this is something that's potentially you're able to enter now. You just have to make sure that you're following your own trading rules when it comes to entering these trades. 
But the thing is, is we've lo listed a lot of stocks today that have potential opportunities for profit. However, we wouldn't have found any of it if it wasn't for TradeUI's option flow filtering system, as well as their flow setups and their unusual flow. These two windows are very, very powerful to help give yourself a condensed watch list of the thousands of options, options contracts that come in through the trading day. Guys, I wish you the best of luck in your trading. I hope you find, found this video very beneficial. I'm going to put a link in the description below that takes you to TradeUI's site. That way you can access everything you need. And we're actually going to use this link as a coupon code for 10% off. That way you can truly benefit with a little bit of a discount to go ahead and give yourself the edge that you need out there. Guys, I appreciate your time today and I hope you have a great one.